Here I have 2x plus 3y equals 8 and negative 4x minus 6y equals negative 16. Since there's no variable with a coefficient of 1, I'm going to use elimination. But again, I'm going to have to do a little work to get the opposite coefficients. And I see here that all I have to do is multiply the top by 2, and that'll give me 4x. So this, that's opposite coefficients. I don't have to do anything to the bottom equation. So that's 2 times 2x plus 3y equals 8. And this is going to give me 4x plus 6y equals 16. So that's the opposite coefficient. So I'm going to add this new equation and this equation. So plus negative 4x minus 6y minus 16. And you may have already realized that each one of these terms is opposite. And so here's what's going to happen. 4x minus 4x is 0. 6y minus 6y is 0. 16 minus 16 is 0. So I end up with 0 equals 0. And I didn't make any mistakes. I did everything correctly, but then all my variables went away. And what this tells me is that I have a dependent system and it has an infinite number of solutions. If I were to graph this, I would see that I have an infinite number of solutions, that these are intersecting at every point along a line. So we call this a dependent system. If I would have been going along and all the variables dropped out and then I got something that wasn't true, like 4 equals 2 or 4 equals 0, then I would have a situation where it's an inconsistent system and there's no solutions. But here, this is always true, so I have an infinite number of solutions. So today we covered solving systems of equations algebraically, and that concludes today's lesson for educator.com. I'll see you again.